Now, right. com coming back to um, the NPP and the flag bearership race, um, I think that I'm not surprised about the numbers. Uh, it could be more uh, because, you see, it, 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 it tells you that the party has a, a variety of uh, uh, choices to make. What it tells you is that the NPP is telling you that, okay, we have the, the men, as the usual term has always been, we have the men to choose from. And I think that is a very good thing for a political party. If at a point in time, you have a lot more people to choose from to lead your, your party, what it means is that grooming is good. You have to always, as a party, find ways and means of grooming people for potential takeover for the current leadership and what have you. If you don't do that, it gets to a stage where the, the party will begin to be in the hands of very few people. And when it, the, the, the need arises, it's difficult to, to make choices. So I think that is a very good thing for, for, for the NPP in terms of the numbers. But of course, I don't expect the number to get as high as we saw somewhere in 2007, 2008. And, and so that they can manage it. Of course, there are rules in place where they can trim down the numbers to say five before the final uh, uh, showdown for the election of a, a, a flag bearer or standard bearer of the party. So briefly, I think that is a positive development for the party.